today is going to be a very fun video. I'm very excited for it. I was tagged um, by Miriam from Miriam Elizabeth Reads and let's see. The original tag video was from BookBuds and I will link it down in the description below. I will also link down Miriam's um, video because it was so much fun to watch. I really enjoyed this challenge just because um, you get to learn like people. And I feel like it's very important when you're watching a channel to get to know somebody and what they're like and you know, it's just important to me. Like I like learning things about you guys in my comments and on my Instagram, just on everything. Like I love getting to know people personally. I adore friends, the more the merrier. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get into this, but it is the, you, your answers can't be books tag. And I think it's a really fun tag. So we're gonna get into it. The first question is what is something that you own way too many of other than books? And this is a really easy answer for me. Um, I feel like sometimes this can be a difficult answer for booktubers because that's literally probably the thing that you own the most of. And for me, it's the same way. Like that's what I own the most of, but mine are definitely Funko Pops. I think to spruce this video up, we're gonna do a slight Funko Pop tour. I'm feeling a Funko Pop tour. Also, I hope you guys get them in enough detail. I'm not gonna move like all of them or like show you specifically like each one because I just organized my shelves. That will be a video coming out soon. And yeah, it took a lot of work. So I don't wanna move them around too much. To start off with, we have the Infinity Saga. Um, it's Marvel, um, the Avengers. Uh, they're supposed to be the original six Avengers, all in the color of an Infinity Stone. I only have three of them right now. I still need Thor, Captain America, and Hawkeye. But so far I have Iron Man, Black Widow, and Hulk. Um, so yeah, I keep them in the boxes. Those are the only ones that I keep in boxes. I know that kind of irritates some people sometimes, but that's just how I like it. Set that back up. Um, so then, right here, you have my Doctor Strange, my Scarlet Witch from the Multiverse of Madness movie. You have um, my zombie Scarlet Witch from What If, and my Star Lord T'Challa um, from What If as well. Then I have my. She's in her Vares costume, but this is my Captain Marvel and my Zombie Falcon from What If. And then I also have my Ant-Man without his helmet. Um, and then I have my special Christmas gingerbread um, Captain Marvel and my What If Gamora who is about to fall. Then you have my comic book Black Widow and my Thena from The Eternals who also fell. Then you have my um, Zombie Hunter Spider-Man from the What If series. And you have my regular Falcon. Behind them you have Druig from the Eternals and Makari from the Eternals. I also have Killmonger from Black Panther and a Golden Black Panther. Um, behind Black Widow, I have a Loki from his TV show and then I have Black Widow from her movie. I also have two Wonder Woman Pops, one in her golden armor and one with her lasso. I have two Baby Yoda Pops. Um, I have a Mandalorian Pop. I have Ahsoka. I have two Princess Leias. I have, this is so hard to do, I have Lando, Clarissian, and uh, um, Han Solo and Carbonite. So these are all of my like Marvel superhero Star Wars pops. So then it goes into my Stranger Things pops. I have 11. I also have her from season one and season uh, two, three. I don't remember. I think season three. And then I have a golden Demogorgon and I also have Hopper um, and I have a Max from season three. Then you go into my Game of Thrones. I have Samwell in the back there, Jon Snow with the throne. I have Tyrion in the back and 
Oh my gosh, I'm blanking on his name, but he's literally my favorite character. We'll come back to him. <laughs> and then you go into my office pops. I have Dwight Schrute, Kevin, Michael Scott, Stanley, and Jim and Pam. Then you go into my friends pops. I have a friends couch, and most of these are from the Halloween um, season, but I'll explain who they are. So you have Rachel from when she was a bridesmaid in a wedding. Chandler as the Velveteen Rabbit, even though he's pink. I got a Chase Gunther. I got Joey wearing all of Chandler's clothes. And I have Phoebe dressed up as well. So then you have my miscellaneous pops. I have the Bearded Lady and Philip from The Greatest Showman. I have Fred and George from Harry Potter. Ron in the back. Harry. Dumbledore and Hermione and then these are my really miscellaneous pops. I have Winona Earp from the TV show, Style Stilinski from Teen Wolf, I also have Scott McCall from Teen Wolf and Carl from Up. I have Mr. Rogers, Pennywise from the It movie and then I have Mulan and Shang from Mulan. Um, and then I have a Maggie Simpson from a Halloween episode. I keep her with my middle grade books. I have a Willie Nelson pop that I keep with my Dolly Parton book. I have a Jane Austen pop that I keep with my Pride and Prejudice books. I also have an Edgar Allan Poe pop. He's not with his book, but he is in the um, mystery thriller section. And then I have the King of Horror himself, Stephen King, in, guess what, the horror section of my bookshelves. I definitely don't think that you realize how many pops you have until you go through them like I just did. <laughs> and I'm like, wow, that's a lot. But there are still more than I want, sadly. So the next question, if you see me looking over to the side, it's because I have the questions on my phone and I was not smart enough to pre-plan the questions. So I'm just going with what I got right out of the bat. That's not a saying. Right off the bat. Oh my gosh. What is something that you do for fun that's not reading a book? Well, funny you asked. That was creepy. Don't ever let me do that again to y'all. Um, hopefully it hasn't logged me out of this. I'm trying to bring it up. I'm on my iPad. Okay, so I was trying to bring it up on my iPad, but my iPad is being wonky. So we're going to try this again. Um, but I like to write in my free time. I'm trying to like let it focus but I am currently working on a book I haven't gotten very far I'm only on two chapters in at about um I don't know how you even look at the word count on here I'm at a little over 5,000 words um but it's very fun it's something that I love to work on um I was in a bit of like a had some writer's block because there was an idea I was struggling with recently for the novel but I think I figured it out and I'm super excited to finally like get back in the habit of writing again um but moving on to question three question three is what is something special or important on your nightstand that's not a book if you hear a bell in the background, Peanut Butter has found a toy. Um, anyway, I don't really have anything special on my nightstand because my nightstand is not a nightstand. I'll show you what I mean. So my nightstand right now is a bookshelf that my dad built me. Um, so technically, I guess this is my thing on my nightstand that is most important to me is the nightstand itself. I also have some extra like, um, what do you call them, bookends down there. I love bookends, so those are special as well. The next question is, what is something that you buy at a bookstore other than books? Usually it'll be either like a candle or a notebook that doesn't count as a book, I don't think. Um, or a Funko Pop, obviously, or usually a tote or some type of pins. I am obsessed with pins. I cannot have enough. Literally can't get enough. The next one is, what's a fun gift that you've received that wasn't a book or a gift card for books? Um, I think some of the bookends that I have received is have been like the best things that I've been gifted because I have like a Harry Potter one, I have Star Wars, I have Serpent and Dove, um, I have horses, 
I have a typewriter. So I am obsessed with bookends. I have open-ended bookshelves, so they come in handy a lot. And I love to display them on my desk or my shelves, like I've said. Like, I just love the look of bookends. The next one is, what's a YouTube channel that you watch that's not related to books? Okay. I don't think many people watch it. Um, well, I know that a lot of people watch it, but <laughs> sounds bad. But it's usually like more towards teenage boys and adult boys, like young adult boys. But I love watching the Sidemen. Sue me. Um, they are so funny. They are a UK group. They do like gaming videos sometimes. They do um, react videos. They do game show videos. They're really funny and I just enjoy watching them. They make me laugh. Um, so if I'm not watching booktube videos, which is normally what I watch, most of the ones that I watch and am subscribed to are booktubers, but I do enjoy the Sidemen. And the last question is tag five booktubers that you want to learn more about. Um, and I will tag them in the description below. But I really want to just get to know these people more. Um, I would tag Olivia, but I feel like I know her pretty well. Um, considering I get to see her a lot and I talk to her daily. So I think I would like to see this tag done by Caitlin from Pride and Paperback. Lauren from Lauren Love Reads. Keisha from A Book Like You. Um, Gabby from Gabbing with Books. And also Jordan from Sorry Book Solid. So I will put them in the description below. And um, yeah, this was just a really fun video to get, t for you guys to get to know me and see like what I, what I like to do as a person, who I am outside of books. Because these um, books are of course my biggest passion, but so is writing, so is collecting Funko Pops, if you couldn't tell. But you get to see like with my Funko Pops what my interests are and things like that. So I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video and I can't wait to see you in the next one.